Hey again, Magic Community on YouTube. T1 Glistener Elf here. Uh, so my quest today is just simply to cast 20 creature spells. And I figured, you know, I haven't actually given Merfolk a shot in a while. So for that, I, let's say, let's see, where are you? Right over here. This is Jungle Secrets. I haven't even changed the name of the precon that it came in. But I have updated it quite a bit, so this is what the deck looks like. Nothing like the original, so 2 Benthic Biomancer, 4 Kumina's Speaker, uh, Merfolk Trickster, Silvergill Adept, uh, decklist is in the description as well, uh, but yeah, so Branchwalker, Mistbinder, and because this is historic, well, Kapala, we also get Mero Regery, so we get 8 Lords, uh, yeah, this gets to be Lord Tribal, I suppose. Uh, not quite, I think um, there may be a type or two as well that also get 2 Lords, but you know, <laughs> so I'm running Water Trap Weaver instead of uh, Jade Light Ranger. Partially because of the mana, but more so what we're trying to do is keep the opponent, um, keep them, f we're just trying to stall the game. This is historic, we have to worry about cards like Phyrexian Obliterator. Uh, Kumina, which probably shouldn't be in the deck, this should be a Ranger, but it lets me break stall boards uh, by letting me draw cards and get counters. A C4, just one C4 Oracle to draw. Tempest Caller is is huge. Uh, it lets us, once we've built up a big enough board, that, you know, remember, we have all these lords, we'll get there, then this just taps down their whole team and lets us swing for lethal. And then it should be 23 lands. Island, Forest, Breeding Pool, Hinterland Harbor, Temple of Mystery, and Unclaimed Territory. So yep, 23. Alright, and we'll jump right on in. Here we go. So the drink for this time is just some Waterloo sparkling water. This one is black cherry flavored. So completely not sponsored. I just, I'm a fan. There we go. There we go. Evangeline still thinks that this is the most fascinating thing in the world. Just listening to the bubbles. Silent Satori. Um, sure. This is cool. I haven't played Historic in a hot minute. Alright, so let's start off with the land that has to come in tapped. Uh, for another Silvergill. That's fine. That's that's a good keep. Draws us a card, and we have double Lords in hand. I'd say that that's okay. Alright, so we'll play Silvergill and reveal a Merfolk. We'll reveal Silvergill, because it gives the least amount of information. We're going to play that later anyway. Alright, so 2 1. Let's see. This could be removal of the deck. You never know. But it is historic, so I'm assuming so. Oh. oh. I would like to play a Lord here. And I think that in this case, that's probably right. Alright. Let's get our beats in. We'll see what they do next. Alright, so they did not have a one drop there. So they don't have shock in hand, or they didn't at least. Yeah, one issue is that this Regery is just dead, unfortunately. Ooh! But they spent three mana on it. Okay. Okay. So I can go Silvergill Hold Up Trickster. Or I could get the beats in with Regery again. That's a uh, that's interesting. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's start off with Silvergill Adept. I'm actually going to reveal Water Trap Weaver. I haven't seen any creatures yet. Okay. Gonna wait. And do this now. All right. Uh, they know it. They saw it. They saw a trickster. All right. This could still be obliterator shenanigans. Ooh. Okay. Obliterator. Go. Thief of sanity. Hmm. 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 
So play the one they already know about. Alright, tap their creature down. It doesn't get to untap. Ooh, hello. That seems okay. Alright. We're getting awfully close. Technically, we have lethal next turn. With Rejury. Aha, uh -huh, but then they take Rejury. They already knew I had the Trickster. So that's not too big of a deal. But yeah, I was hoping I could go Kapala, then Rejury next turn. Alas, I will not be able to. But if they don't take the Trickster here, that's going to be yet another turn that Thief gets to stay tapped down. Alright, so they must have some removal. That seems pretty clear. Alright. Alright. Let's go attacking first. Alright, they have something. Right? No, they don't. Alright, never mind, we just got it. Okay. I, when I saw how quickly it let me move, I figured, yeah, I figured we had it. Okay, um, that, that's curious. I wonder why they didn't take the Rejury then if they didn't have something. I don't know. Well, we'll get another shot at it. We'll get another go. It may not seem like it, but I have carbonated drinks so infrequently that the fizziness, the bubbles, still kind of, I don't know, they still kind of tickle. They're, they still kind of feel, feel neat. Because mostly I'm coffee, water, tea, uh, and once again a double lord hand. Yeah, we'll keep this. Hello. Alright. Call Merfolk. And then, there we go. I'll play some Merfolk while I'm at it. And then next turn we'll hit them for three. And see how long... Oh, okay. Cool. Hi-ya. Hi-ya. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> if I play that in Humans deck, it's Neji Humans. Alright, so this is Shrines. Ooh, this is Shrines. Okay. Well, let's just hit them as quickly as we can, then. And this is lethal next turn. They don't... I mean, they do see it. If I play nothing else, it's lethal next turn. Alright, let's see what they have. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, which one is this? Beginning of your upkeep deals damage. <laughs> Unless I'm missing something. I guess we'll just do it just to do it. But then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh... Okay. The the historic meta. Uh, I guess... I guess they want to make... You, you win 0% of the games you concede. <laughs> that is... That is fair. That is my motto. You win 0% of the games you concede. Alright. Still in my green onion shenanigans. It's good for me. I like the taste. Unironically. And it's good for me. Hmm. Yep. Keep. Hmm. There we go. Hmm. Alright. So let's see. Can't do the Hinterland Harbor yet. Go to combat first. Alright. Now, usually in this situation, I think you're supposed to play the Branch Walker first. I believe. Okay, so we got another land. That's fair enough. It gives you the potential for a little bit more damage sooner. Um, and with Silvergill Adept, you get to draw the card, period. With Branchwalker, you only get to draw it if, you, if it happens to be a land. 
Okay. So there's Regery. I'm actually going to play this first. Make them deal with it first. Lofty Denial. Interesting. If you control a creature with fly, okay. Interesting. Hmm, okay. Admittedly, was not expecting that. Alright. Well. Play stupid games, right? Reveal the most expensive one. Alright, you countering this? And it may seem odd to do this now, but I can theoretically draw into a lord. For a little bit of extra... Oh, God. Well, then... Well, now. Okay. Uh, in that case, I guess we'll play you tapped and pass. Hmm. I mean, that's how you're supposed to play the matchup. Hmm. I can't say I'm looking forward to that Castle of Antris going online. So they have stuff they can do, because of course they do. Look at how many cards that is. Alright, come on, what you got? What do you have? Alright. Hit him, see what they're doing. Alright, first, Branch Walker. All right, what's it going to be? Yes, please keep. That is revealed though, so that's not great. <laughs> All right, and neither of those are revealed, so play the harbor. I'm gonna play the, the water trap weaver here. It is early, it is premature. I'm gonna try to use Regery Ooh. Okay, okay, that's fair. That could have been worse. They don't have a creature with flying yet. I'm waiting for Crackling Drake, Terramander, God Eternal Kefnet, Sprite Dragon, anything they feel like. The, the cards I've been playing for the past year. Oh, longer than I've been playing Crackling Drake since it came out, basically. There you are. Now I'm paying for the fact that I did it in that order. Alright. It is a little unfortunate. I probably shouldn't have done it that way. Because now, I can't go... Regery and a creature, so I, I indeed messed up. But that's okay. Alright. Ooh! I should have... This is historic. Lightning Strike is back. I should have seen that coming. This is historic. Uh, point of reference, Lightning Strike's not a... Well, it doesn't matter. There's enough 2 mana, 3 damage removal. I should have known. I still should have known. No excuse. Alright. So, tap your creature down. And then... Hopefully hit him for five, but realistically two. Oh. I know at the very least they have uh, the ability to jumpstart. Radical idea. Hmm. Well, it can't block any of my creatures, so at least there's that. Wait, so it's not great for them either one uh, to be returned? Silvergill, I will be able to cast next turn, but I can't cast it this turn, unfortunately.
All right, there it is. Hi, Niv. Oh, God. That's not good. Okay. Is there any reason to play either of these? Answer's probably no. Hmm. There is, actually. Alright, so there goes Silver Guild. Is this Chemistry's Insight? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I threw this game. I, I messed up hard. That's okay. That's okay. Just make myself wake up a little bit more and we'll be fine for next round. Oh, but they're attacking. Okay. All of the confidence. Hmm. If this doesn't work, Branch Walker, you're going to die on the draw. to do it, though. If for no other reason than to get a card through my... Oh, my God. Okay. That's a keeper. Alright. Alright, opponent. How much damage can you do? Because it better be a decent bit. Alright, so there goes one. Draw. Okay. Here we go. Alright, so that's one down. They're in decent shape coming up, actually. As long as they just don't attack. Oh, this is draw two cards. Ooh. Ooh oh, boy. Oh, boy. There it goes. It took it a sec, but it got there. Alright. Man, this is devastating. Ah, uh, I lose now. Yeah, they got me. They got me. Well, you can only hope that they misplay, I suppose, in a situation like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I misplayed pretty hard. We'll keep playing. We'll keep playing it out. Pretty hard. Uh, real hard. At least a couple times. I think that's enough to count as a punt. When it's a casual game like this, admittedly, I don't pay... I, I don't think through it as much as I probably ought to. Ooh. Yeah, we'll keep. As much as I ought to. Um, it's just really low stakes. I'm talking as well. I'm trying to make it a little bit interesting to watch. A little bit. All right. Hello. Hello. I uh, will do Biomancer first. Right? Yeah, Biomancer first. It may not be quite correct. Uh-oh. And then I draw I keep drawing Temple. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um I'm actually going to take a turn off so I can play Temple. Hinterland Harbor, right on time. I'm good on lands, though. Alright, hit him for one. Oh, okay, no, no, uh, growth spiral. Oh, it's banned. Ah, uh, hi, Uro. You know, that legitimately could go in instead of, uh, Kumena, even though obviously he's not a merfolk. I don't fill the graveyard super quickly, though. 
So, it it's a little risky. All right. So I guess we'll play this first, Merfolk, and then Reachery. Get this out sooner so that I can start tapping things down. Or untap, but that's not gonna matter yet. There it is. Okay. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, Field is not banned in this format. Okay, that's right. Huh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nice. Nice! Okay. So we can, we can still make this work. Tap a permanent. That one. Yep. Alright. And tap a permanent. That one. We can make this a thing. I believe in us. And we have two double Tempest Caller. So if any deck can do it, it would be ours. <laughs> the opponent doesn't. This is why Tempest Caller is fine, even in Historic. Okay, uh, well. I'll trigger it again, I think, because of the way it's worded. Yep, okay. Or another land enters the battlefield. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, this is actually gonna... If they play correctly, this is... Oh, nope. It's already gone. What is it? Sanctum of All. Oh. Oh, fun. Good times. So if I do this, then I can go... Tempest Caller. Uh, target... Let's see. Tap or untap. So there we go. We'll untap you. Yep. Okay, cool. Tap all of them down. And then, let's see, reveal. This is perhaps a little bit preemptive. Oh, wait, if I had done the extra one. Let's see. If I had done the extra one here, so this would be 4, 7, 10, 14. Ooh. Oh, I had lethal. Just because I, I didn't count it first. Okay, that's what I'm. That's what I'm meaning, folks. The uh, lack of paying attention to it. I saw it immediately afterwards, but all right, sanctum. But this happens on upkeep, so they're dead. Okay, that could have been so many things. If that had been a wrath, I would just be done. Uh, be right out of here. Okay, so this isn't my tightest play. Alright, we can do this. Uh, what's the what's the way to focus? We already have the onion. That should be keeping me awake enough. We already have the fizziness of the drink. I got it. There we go. That's <laughs> superpower. Alright. Yep, okay. Hello. Yeah, this looks fun. Ooh. Ooh, mulligans. Oh no. Don't concede. Ah. Oh. Okay. Doesn't count. See? Superpowers. <laughs> it counts for that. It does indeed count for that. Let's try this again. That I, I played a four wins. I'm gonna play a little longer. We haven't I haven't even been on all that long. I haven't even been on half an hour. I drink Listerine. <laughs> Good for you. Uh, opponent goes first. I'm actually still going to keep this. I'll get a chance to draw into something else to get me out of this. It's not unplayable. I'll live. As the format format gets more low to the ground, I'll have to ha keep a lower curve. Hmm. Eh, rewarded. Give him the hello. Hmm. Okay. 
What you got? How long until we see the Fastlands show up in Standard? Oh no. Oh no. Also, that's only two? Dang, dude. Alright, what you got? Uh, it was probably not that impactful in this matchup. I probably need to find a lord instead, don't I? Um, probably. Oh, jeez. Yeah. But, at least that was a creature. Okay. Here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where's land- well, it's, it's too late for land destruction to matter, unfortunately. Alright. Why am I doing this now? Because it doesn't matter. Alright, let's see what they have. What do you have, opponent? Okay. So I lose some life. It's not fun, but, you know, we'll live. In before Sanctum. Yeah, this deck is silly. You know, shrines is a thing in modern now. It's super duper janky, but now there's so many shrines you can make it a thing. In historic, you have all the same cards, but you have a much smaller card pool, so the opposing decks aren't as strong. So it's kind of silly that this can be a thing, but it can be a thing. It's the most inevitable deck in the format. Not even that it's necessarily good, it's just inevitable. The deck will win. Oh god, now it's Enchantress. <sighs> okay. Well. Kind of wanted to name a stupid type there. Hmm. I mean, I guess I do still have double Water Trap Weaver. I'll save it. I'll save it. Who knows why I'm doing that now? Alright. Slowly building up the damage. I don't know if we'll have time, but let's hope so. Alright, here comes Sanctum. Do it. You know you want to. Yep, there it is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now we're in trouble. Hmm. It's asking me because I have Kumina. Uh, there we go. That's the one I was looking for. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure what I can actually do to make this work better for me at this point. They're gaining so much life turn after turn. It's kind of silly. Alright. Well, for each shrine, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, so they're going to go back to 10. I go to 11. Oh, wait a minute. They're going to. This happens on. Pre-combat main phase, so actually it's five. What is this? Honden of... Jeez. Jeez. Gain all the life, why don't you? Alright, well, if I find a lord, I can still get out of... No, I can't. Not anymore. Good game. You got me. I think there was literally nothing that I could do that game to try to, to, try to get out of it. Even if I changed which creature I played, uh, Tempest Color instead, it doesn't change the clock, because they both have two power. It wouldn't have changed the clock at all. I just had a slow hand. That was 100% on me. Uh, no, no super early play, no one drops, no lords. 
That was on me. Hmm. Okay. Showcase 50. Alright. One, two, three. Yep. Okay, cool. Still no lords, but we keep. I'm gonna take a bunch of damage if I play out on curve, though. We'll see if it matters. Nope, probably not. <laughs> Turn one temple of mystery. Nope, it's no mystery. Alright. I guess... Combat first. Hiya. And then play the branch walker out. Let's see what they have going on. Ooh, temple, okay. So we'll play temple next, actually, instead of breeding pool. Alright. I mean, they already know about it, so I'll just play it out here. <sighs> nope. We're good. I have to play through this as quickly as I can. Try to leave them as little time as possible. Alright. Okay. That's good. Let's see. I mean, it's, it should be obvious I have Trickster in hand. Should be. That's a lot going on, bud. Hmm. Is this another... Yeah. Well, these are both forest. Huh. I mean, I'll just do this now, but it really doesn't make a difference. Okay. Cool. Cool. So on that happy note, um, hiya, hits you for a bunch, and then let's see, enters tapped, pass turn. Well, now they've already seen one. Oh my goodness, my nose. All right, what's the big? Okay, what's the big idea, Fox? I was waiting for a Nyssa or something to show up. No? No, we're on Elvish Rejuvenator Tribal, apparently. This does not work out terribly well for you, though, my friend. Give him the good game. And hit him for Exaxes. Alright, there we go. Yeah, Tempest Caller, still pretty good. Just a little bit. Just a lot. Who thought a 2-3 for 4 would be bad? Okay, a lot of people, to be fair. <laughs> Archon, okay. Hmm, okay. So yay, we get another taxing effect. I'm alright with that. Alright, we'll, we'll keep playing. Still hasn't been all that long. XA. Gotta stretch. Alright, so yeah, we'll keep this. I have eight lords in the deck. I would like to find a lord again. This would be nice. I mean, maybe that's asking too much. <laughs> maybe. Alright, so we'll keep. Hold it up. Oh, Yorian. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see if we can make it work. Maybe. Ooh, okay. Breeding pool. We're still going to play the speaker first because it represents ever so slightly higher damage. But it maybe would have been better to do a benthic biomancer so that I can try to find another land. Ah, okay. Or, or we could just draw it. 100% skill. 100% skill. Alright, hiya. This into reveal Tempest Caller. Because that's a card they'd be worried about, totally. Alright. So there goes some of my damage, unless I want to spend Water Trap Weaver. Uh, okay. Hmm. 
We'll start off by attacking. See what they do. Trade? Oh, okay. No, just that. I mean, that's fair. It's what you're supposed to do. Alright. And then, pass turn. Whew. Okay. So now they can play Yorian, but they won't yet. Wait to get some more value out of it, I would think. I would hope. Oh, another one. Okay. Okay. Hi, there you are. It took you long enough, but you got there. Uh, yeah, that's, that's too many lands. Too many lands, too many lands. Too many lands. I jinxed that. Alright, so... Hmm... This part seems easy. We can keep you tapped down. And then just swing for four. A swing four six, and then, of course, two gets blocked. Alright. Then they make another wall. Because this is America, I guess. <laughs> Uh, oh dear. I mean, <laughs> I had a few other choices. I could have gone with China for the, the big obvious wall. I could have gone with, let's see, there's there may be a famous wall that went through Germany. Maybe. Alright, let's just try to click in as much damage as we can. Play this on Merfolk. I am tempted to do it on something else, but we'll do it on Merfolk. And then just try to hit for as much as we can. And this does technically represent lethal next turn. They definitely can't flash or uh, escape Uro yet. Oh, no it doesn't. No it doesn't. Unless I find a Lord, I'm going to be one shy. Oh, gah. Wow. Okay. Oh, gah. Good grief. Yada yada it does, eh? And they gain free life. Stop drawing lands! Seriously, what the heck? Just... no. I mean, I'll still do what I have to do. But, unless I find a lord, I'm in trouble. Or another Tempest Caller. Hmm... Alright, so Yorian could have come down there just to blink Tulsimir and make my life that much harder. Though you are legendary. I'm not even a deck that gets hit hard by Teferi. <sighs> okay, well there's a Rejury. That is a thing. Okay, the fact that they bounced it actually can bite them a little bit here. Hmm. Yeah, we want to kill the Tulsimir. If we can. If we can. Alright. Hello? Everybody swings over there. At most, one of you gets through. At most. Alright. Well, that was fun. That was fun, kids. Let's do that again. Oh, I just represented that. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Well. Paradise Druid, just as a blocker. Okay. I respect that. And get one more win in. Come on. Alright. Yes, that resolves. You stop. You stop right now.
Oh, get man. All right, who gets tapped down this time? Uh, you, buddy? You? Yes, please tap. Everyone! Nobody lives forever. Okay, so I went from find all the lands to <laughs> double regery. We're still not out of it just yet. We're still in some trouble. Alright. We're still potentially in some trouble. Okay. Because they can blink Tulsimir to kill a regery. But we're going to at least get rid of all of their walls. Oh, okay. They're still thinking. Oh, I am okay with that. I am a-okay with that. All right. Yeah. All right, hold up that control. You know, as you do. What is this? CMC 3 or greater? Oh, God. Yeah, maybe it was a bad idea to attack with to attack with Regery as well. Maybe. I wasn't expecting Elspeth. I was or Elspeth conquers death. Let's try this. Hmm. Should have. <laughs> with my luck. Alright, please Tempest Caller off the top. Uh, how much mana do they have up? One? Okay. <laughs> I don't normally get called shots like that. It's, it's... Karma or pity? The game gives me a bunch of lands in a row and then says, you know what? Lord, Lord, Tempest Caller. That should not have worked. Um, throwing the regery in like that should have cost me the game. But I, I, I found, <laughs> I found Tempest Caller, so I guess it works out. Maybe. That was stupid. That should not have worked. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna keep. Ooh, Mulligan. Okay. I don't think I've ever had to mulligan with with this deck, with Merfolk. Ooh, down to five. Yeesh. Okay. I mean, with a start like that, that's not to say that they can't do it. And yes, I could have done Breeding Pool so that if they attack with Llanowar Elves, we'll be okay. They're not attacking with Llanowar Elves. That's not a thing. Okay, Rejuvenator. That's fine. Another Weaver. Okay, we can make that work. Alright. And then reveal Silvergill. And get another Water Trap Weaver. Yes, we will gladly take that. I feel some Stompy coming, so I am okay. In fact, since we have so many, if we want to get greedy, we can just go after some Llanowar Elves. Go after their mana a bit. That seems a little much, to be honest. That seems a little bit much. Um... Alright, so we'll attack first. See how they want to do this. Okay. And then, oh, they Dryad, or Druid did not block Speaker. Okay. So we'll play you first. Reveal speaker, since we're going to play that anyway. And then take two, and play speaker. So I guess it ends up working out. Alright. And look, they have zero cards left in hand. Uh-oh, wait a minute, is this spell? Okay, target of a spell. Okay, we're fine. Whew! Okay. Thank goodness. Trickster. Also, not a spell. Okay.
All right. Block with Druid just to stem the... No. No, okay. I certainly would have. With no cards left in hand, I would have blocked with the Druid. Stem the bleeding a little bit. All right. Let's build a bigger board while we're at it. We can play this just to keep it tapped down. Forest. Uh, there is a side of me that wants to tap down the Lanamar Elf here. And that's what I'm going to do. Alright. Stop on their upkeep. Okay, cool. Alright. Come on, you've got to block. You have to block now, right? Block Weaver, I, I would think. Well, in mono green, yeah, probably Weaver. Actually, no speaker. I don't know if they have any. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. Ah. Oh. Yeah, okay. That's fair enough. Ah, uh, bodied. Bodied. Okay. And there's a reason why we have that on upkeep. Alright. So unfortunately, that's going to get to go through. Alright. Do it here. Uh, yeah, re resolve. Alright, tap that down. Resolve. Pass to draw, and then pass to man. Okay, there we go. And it has no abilities now. Ooh, what do you even do? Not enough. You don't matter. You're not important. You're done. And that should... Yep, that's game. That's exactly lethal. All right. Well, we got there. We did. Somehow we managed that. And by somehow, I mean three Water Trap Weavers and... Ooh, how was this? Okay. I like you. I like you. You're kind of... Neat. Wait, you're a human? Judging by the, the art, I thought this was a giant. It's, uh... Thick. There we go. Uh, okay, so we'll play it again, get the 50. Keep it going. Keep it rolling. I, I legitimately thought that was a giant. I mean, they exist in Throne, after all. G... However that's meant to be pronounced. Okay. You go first. Uh, yeah, this is cool. Actually, this is cool. Hmm, okay. Yeah, so, pretty simply, Breeding Pool, Speaker, Breeding Pool, we can do Adept or Mist Binder. I'm going to play Adept first. Alright, there we go. Adept can take the buff from Mist Binder, but Mist Binder doesn't buff itself, plus I'll, I'll get the card draw. That'll be okay. Oh, Mulligan again. Mulligan again. Oh, hi, Merfolk. It's like, well, hello, fellow kids. Uh, watch it be the mono blue tempo deck. Curious Obsession, that deck. Nope, it's Merfolk. Oh, I remember playing you way back in, like, the first iteration of this deck. It's been a while. How are you? All right, pay two. Uh, in that case, kind of would like to do Branch Walker actually. See what other lands I can find. And it can buff itself. Yes, please. Alright. Ah, <sighs> oh boy. Presumably the counters are gonna go on the one that can't be blocked. And that makes entirely too much sense. Merfolk, yep. Merfolk Mirror, let's These are very different Merfolk decks. Uh, yeah, that's a that's gonna be a thing, I guess. So unfortunately, can't play you yet. 
Um, I'm actually going to pass that down. Alright, let's just get this ball rolling as quickly as possible. This is going to be real annoying. They play a Merfolk, they get a Merfolk, they get two counters on Miscloaked Herald. That's going to get real annoying real quick. Alright. So Incubation, oh boy. And it doesn't matter now, but Incongruity. Alright, I would get a Frog. Which matters because I'm a Tribal deck. Oh, hi Kumena. That's at least one we have in common. Alright, and then it gets another, it's going to throw over... Oh, fair enough, I suppose. Okay, well, I guess we'll play Regery next, then. Oh, yeah, definitely. Holy crap, definitely. We're just going <laughs> to stack the lords all the way to the sky. I will attack... I'm going to attack with just Branchwalker. See how they want to do this. Jump? Okay. Cool. Maybe. Maybe more. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's fair. It's alright. We're about to get some more shenanigans going on. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. A Kapala just cares about spells, as I recall. Yep, spells. Wait, abilities that... Uh, okay, that target. Yeah... This is a trigger, not activated. Oh my goodness. Nice. Give him the big nice on that one. Well, okay, now it's not enough. We need to have a little bit more than that. Oh boy. This is getting silly, folks. This is, there's Tempest Caller, but I don't have the land for it. Oh no, okay. Um... So, I play Mistbinder, tap down Kumena. I play Kumena Speaker, tap down Kapala, just because of how big it is. Giggity? Yes. And then I... Oh, if I had oh, if I had thought about it, I could have played the Silvergill as well by untapping my lands. Hmm, okay then. Well, big oops, I guess. The opponent doesn't know it, but they're actually kind of Dunskies next turn. Uh, because of Tempest Caller, so I guess I should wait. Oops. Yeah, that's an oops for me, unfortunately. So they have enough to draw a card, but they don't have enough to put counters on things. Oh, did you find Tempest Caller? Did you do it? Oh, uh, <laughs> double good game. Okay. Oh, they that's right, because they don't need it. Kumena can attack through. Good game. Ah, uh, yeah, that'll do it, actually. That will... that will do it. Those are two extremely different builds of Merfolk. I, I was close. Uh, I don't... It wouldn't have made a difference if I had played the Silvergill as well that turn. Had I had some way to grant Flash a Merfolk Trickster, that would have been excellent. But, alas, I did not. I did not. I like that want to add them as a friend. Is that a thing you can do in the middle of a game? Can you add people as friends? Let's see. Goblins, Aki, JP. I don't know that, although this this may sound a little weird, I don't know that I want to add someone as my friend if they double good game me. <laughs> good game is fine. Double good game. <laughs> oh, it's it's okay. So yeah, we'll keep this. Alright. Hello? Hello, nurse? Hello, nurse. Animaniacs. I'm sure it was more than that, but I, I can't think of what. Because if it's on Animaniacs, it's a reference to something. 
Alright, branch walker. See what we get? Even if it's land, that's okay. Oh. Not yet, bud. I need I need more lands first. Okay. Speaking of. So what's on three? Actually I can go temple. Scry, see what I get. Trickster. I still haven't seen what my opponent's on yet. Trickster should be okay, though. We'll hang on to that. And then, yeah, play Mistbinder. Ooh, okay. Here goes nothing. Hiya. Boom. Boom. Oh, Wilderness Reclamation. Okay. We're in trouble. <laughs> I'm in danger! But, like, all the time. Alright, so, whatever I cast next is absolutely not resolving. But I'm gonna try Seafloor Oracle. Okay, Mystic. That's fair. Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Better than losing the Lord. I, I still need to get rid of it. That was a nice two for one on their part, though. Uh oh. Yeah, about that. About that, opponent. Can we not, please? Alright. Oh, jeez. Jeez. Well, fine. Be that way. Alright. Yeah, let's let's pass it right along. Return hand, fair enough. Fair enough, can't argue with that. Oh no you don't. Well actually they do, because that's how this deck works. Eventually they can run out. Um I'm waiting for it. It's not like oh yeah, no, don't attack. Alright, there we go. Alright, and this is for what's going on? It's like a giant crisis, yeah. On the one hand, you win 0% of the games you concede. On the other hand, take a look at this. <laughs> Would you take a look at this? Merfolk, I'll keep playing. This does mean I don't get Trickster, but I, I think for right now that's okay. Alright, I'll draw a card and try maybe to work my way through this. Alright, good. Please scry to the bottom. Ooh, okay. Missed it. Yep, this is their turn. Okay, cool. Hmm. Alright, what are you digging for? Uh oh. Uh oh for them. Good for me. Uh, sure. Hit me with both. Ow. No, you stop that. Okay. Well, now they can just do all the scrying that they would like. Or that. They can do that instead. Alright. Float a bunch of mana. Good. There we go. Yeah. When they keep something, that's never... Deck, why? Why are we doing this? Alright. Um... Yeah, no, we're done. 
give them the... I don't even know if they can see it that late, but yeah, they got me. They got me. That's what that's what Wilderness Reclamation does. It's... I, I actually think the deck's a little bit overrated, but it is still really, really good. <laughs> uh, overrated does not mean it's bad. Then again, mine is... Mine is just for fun. <laughs> Merfolk is not... It's okay. Renegade Lemonade. I forgot to check to see if I could add my opponent on here. Send him a friend request, something like that. Alright, so yeah, obvious keep is obvious. We, get, we can get seven wins. Come on, deck. Come on. Come on, Jay. Well... My internet, my internet is still with us, so I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, whenever it feels like it, maybe. Crossing fingers, hidden dragon. All right, yeah, we'll keep. Cool. All right. Hello. I wonder how many times an opponent has said hello, and I haven't responded because they said it when I couldn't see. Fitting them along the curve. Okay. Uh, that's not fun. That's a lot of ramp. I am not okay with that. Alright, so they let it through, because of course they do. Watch this be land destruction. Please be land destruction. My land destruction heart would appreciate that. Uh, yeah, we'll keep. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. I'm sorry, I missed it. What is this? Additional land on each of your turns. Whenever you cast a spell, draw two cards. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, fun. Ah! Uh, I see what you're doing. Where's Mox Amber? Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha. I see what you're doing. Alright, what's the, what's the payoff, though? Alright. I have no idea, but that was silly and I loved it. I'm sure there's more. There's more where that came from. Merfolk again? Cool. The fact that they had to discard their hand. Now, they're still going to be able to cast that, though. So that's a problem. Yes. Alright. Because that'll let me tap, tap down blockers in the not-too-distant future. Yeah, Ornithopter served its purpose. Alright, so they start off by yeah, casting that, drawing two. Alright, see what else is to come. Okay, draw three, draw two, and then draw one. And they get yet another land drop. Whew! Okay. Oh, wow. Alright. Anything else? Is that a Sulphur Falls? Alright, there's a stomping ground. Careful, opponent. You are flying close to the sun. You just don't know it yet. Actually, no, they're not. I don't have lethal yet. Aha. Uh -huh. Sorry, what is this? Radical idea? A uh, still really good card to have in your graveyard. If you're going to have to, you might as well. Okay, so... Let's do the one that they already know about, so we can tap down Acolyte, target a permanent. Cool. Let's see what we get. Alright, well, play that. Tap you down. What do we get? Another land. Of course we do. Alright. If there's anything that makes them lose life, now, th I, and I doubt that there is, because look at their colors, uh, they won't be able to cast it. But I'm waiting for it. Okay, good. That's a good place to start, because if they happen to have a land, they're fine. Plus the Radical Idea draw. Ornithopter, okay. 25 cards left. What's the payoff? Please be a giant creature that I can tap down with Tempest Caller. Please? 
Okay, song of creation again. Second verse, same as the first. Jeez. Okay. Whatever's going on, this this is going to be silly. I am here for it, but this is going to be silly. Ah, uh, of course it would be Jace. Okay. I'm going to make them do it. Give them the nice. We were one turn away. We were so close. We were so close. Alright. Well, at the very least, they can just... Yeah, they can just play this again. And that'll give them... Uh, zero in deck. Oh, okay, they win. That's a good game. Alright, just play actual factual anything and you have it. Hey, there you go. Noise. Noise. We can get another win. I, I had fun with that. <laughs> Watching that. In, in retrospect, of course it would be Jace. Of course it would. I, I am a lover of silly combo decks, so to see that go off. It's just Cheerios in Historic. It's just Cheerios. Alright. Oh, again! This is the same opponent! Uh, I go first. Eh? Sure. In before Mrs. Landrop. <laughs> I knew it! Alright, cool. Hello again. Long time no see. Alright, stay awake. We can do this. Uh, should I do story time? Story time with T1 Glistener Elf. I need to think of a good story first, actually. Alright. Yep, so we're gonna do another merfolk ditto. Ditto. <laughs> I called it a ditto. Alright. Let's see. Um, what's a, what's a good story? Um... Hmm. I wish I had chat open so that someone could ask me. Uh, obviously, this is recorded beforehand because my internet is terrible. But uh, eventually, I'll be able to stream, probably on YouTube, and have chat open. That'll be fun. Let's see. Let's just get this in early for a little bit more damage. Or a lot more damage. And this time, I'm going first. I'm still thinking of a story, folks. I haven't forgotten. I'm just I'm trying to think. All right, and then we have lethal next turn. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Traditional merfolk get there. Okay. Um. Okay. Story time. Um. So I'm at my first ever Grand Prix. I've been to big Magic events before, like uh, Star City Games tournaments, but. I'm at my first Grand Prix. It's in D.C. Uh, well, it's Richmond, actually, I think, but it's Grand Prix D.C. Uh, 2013, I think it was. And, yeah, that, w that would have been it. Uh, I'm on camera, kind of, on the GGS Live uh, YouTube channel. Mm, yeah, we, we keep this. This is fair. Okay. Not because I actually made it into Top 8, but that top eight. So, I made it to day two, and I went 10-5 for the whole event, so, I mean, it's okay. It's not as great as I would have liked, and especially on day two, I made some, some misplays that got me there, or got, that worked against me pretty hard, but, um, I get to, uh, the top eight, and I stand in the same exact spot that yeah, we're gonna reveal... What's the one that they would care the least about? Kumena, right? Okay. I stand in the same spot. I'm getting bisected by a pole. So, the, uh, the, it's two tables 
with not not okay let's see I kind of want to focus a tiny little bit okay but I'll get these lords started soon no it's fine we'll do Kapala first just in case they have any removal shenanigans make them or I'll attack make them block cool um, let's see so there's a table right in front of me at which two players are playing and then there's behind them another table and then over to the side there's two more tables so it's eight people you know it's top eight of course um, so I remember four of the players that were there uh, because two of them are players that I really really respect love them to death um, let's see so we can go Regery and then tap down this wall. Alright, and then we'll attack. Uh, and those players were Sam Black and Craig Wesco, who actually played against each other on camera. Uh, of course, Craig Wesco is going to play Death and Taxes. That's, that's his thing, Mr. Death and Taxes. Oh, gah. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a lot of fun. Wait a minute. Just a moment. I kind of want to tap it down just to do it. <laughs> okay, why not? Hiya. Okay. Um, so they and Sam Black was on Bant. I don't think he was on Maverick. I think he was on Bant for that tournament. So it it was at the time like Thalia, Knight of the Reliquary, Green Sun Zenith, Gaddic Teague, uh, Force of Will. Enough blue cards to make it to make Force of Will a thing, I believe. And uh, bad deal. Uh, the finals for that tournament. Uh, were two players that I also saw, uh, but in separate games, of course, because it's top eight, and it's uh, it's single elimination. So I saw Jared Betcher, I saw Owen Turtenwald, and then I saw Jared Betcher play Owen Turtenwald, and both of those players, Betcher is banned. I don't know exactly what Owen Turtenwald's status is. Uh, I know it wasn't pretty, and when it comes to something depressing like that, to be honest, some of the time I just don't read the stories because I know it's going to be bad. I just... I don't know. Like, I... There's nothing that I can do to affect change in that in that regard, and I'm kind of just going to take people's word on it. So... Let's see. Alright, so we'll keep... It's risky, for sure, because I'm missing two. I'm missing two drops, but I have three lands for Regery, so I'll make it work. Alright, give him the hello. Uh, one of the ones that was not on camera was Jared Betcher versus a Dredge opponent. And in Legacy Dredge, you don't need many lands. You actually probably, probably, the vast majority of the time only need one. But you need one. Faithless Looting, Breakthrough, those are the big ones. If you can resolve those, you're good. Uh, usually. And then the ball just gets rolling and it gets out of hand. There, but there's no bizarre Baghdad in Legacy. But you need... Man of Confluence, City of Brass, uh, and it's been updated now, but that's the gist of it. Uh, so he has to mulligan to three. Betcher's opponent mulls to three. Now, in hindsight, knowing that Betcher is banned, I wish that I had been able to go back and look and see if he was, like, uh, if he was stacking his opponent's deck. Like, for example, that thing where you shuffle and you just take a quick glance every now and then and see what the bottom card is. And if the bottom card happens to be not a land, you put it up to the top, and you keep doing that. Um, yeah, uh, I wish I had been able to see that. Alright, so Merfolk, hiya. But alas, I did not even know to pay attention to that at the time. Okay, so we didn't get there, but we have two to swing with. Then we'll play, depending on what our opponent plays next, either Reedry or Weaver. Ooh, okay. 
Exile Kumena. Ah, okay, well, we found another land, but that's not exactly what we were looking for. Alright, so Redry first. This makes Water Trap Weaver effectively able to tap down two creatures. Well, one from Redry, one from Weaver. One weakness to this, though, is that I could just lose my creature now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy! Uh-huh. Okay. Well... I'll play Rejury, tap it down. Alright. And then just hit for a bunch. So, we'll see what they have. But if they're playing Fin Lurker, they're probably not going to wrath the board here. Probably not. I would think... Maybe. This makes me think that there's an Airbos going on. Hmm. Or like a obliterator? For phylactery lich. Oh, this is gonna be devotion. Okay, so cool. They have an artifact. This thing is indestructible. Uh do you know how little I care about that? <laughs> oh dear. Alright. Uh tap that down. Tap that down. Ah. Oops. I should have tapped this down instead. Oops. Alright, and then yeah, swing for lethal. Give him the good game. Okay. Kinda wanna go to 15 now. How long have I been going? Uh, hour 20? Okay. Yeah, let's, let's go to... Let's see, we're at 10 right now? Let's go to 15. Let's just take Historic Merfolk all the way to 15 wins. We can do that. Maybe. I think I can keep myself awake long enough to do that. Despite the lights, it is it is late here. Mm. But, but, it's actually my birthday now, so, <laughs> Dr. Drea, so, I'm going to take executive privilege and stay up a little later. I don't know. <laughs> Why not? Okay, this seems... Mmm... I still want to do it. No! Okay, I'll do my first mulligan with the deck. I think. Alright. Uh, hmm. Sure. Tempest Caller. That's a little unfortunate. The joys of playing two color decks. Sometimes that just will happen when your mana base can't be perfect. I mean, to be fair though, I am missing two Temple of Mystery, so it's possible. Because if I if I had Temple of Mystery, the two of the islands probably would have been temples, so that I still have enough forest for a somewhat consistent Kumena speaker. Okay, so we'll play you. Adept on curve. Reveal Weaver. Actually I probably should have done speaker. Not sure. Yeah, uh, no blocks. That's fine. That's a two mana three one. And another. And another one. Another one. I don't even remember who says that. Oh, jeez. Okay. Whale. Whale. If I don't play the temple here, I don't get Seafloor Oracle. Which might be okay. I kind of want to save the Water Trap Weaver, though. Alright. Seems like a fine trade for me. Alright, what do you do? What do you do, opponent? What do you say? Ooh, what you say? Ooh, 
that you only meant well. Alright, yes we have Oracle, but I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to get to 4 mana. And even if I do, I feel like there's something big coming up here I want to use Weaver on, anyway. Okay, well... Unburial Rites! Oh, what's in the... Massacre Girl, oh god. Crap. Crap. Okay. Whale. Alright, we'll do this first. Weaver, okay. I'm gonna need you. I feel. I feel that. Let me read Masker Girl again. Okay. Just tap you down, bud. All these one toughness creatures. Obviously, Masker Girl was going to kill them, but I think that's kind of the point. Alright, Stitcher Supplier. Are they just. Yeah, they, they have the mana. They could do it at any time. They're just waiting. Ooh, okay. Okay. I know I'm going to lose my creatures anyway, so I am being a little bit aggressive with this. Hmm. Certainly more aggressive than I need to be. I'm at 11. You fly. Hmm. I don't want to use a weaver yet. Seems like a less than ideal plan. So we can go Branch Walker. Once my board gets big enough, that's when they do it. Um, sure, actually. Yeah, I need to start putting pressure on him. Alright, attack with both. I'm gonna try to force Massacre Girl, Massacre Girl out. As soon as I can. The sooner the better. Alright, if they don't play her... I'm gonna have to play Orc... well, no I don't. Oh, good grief. You stop that. Lotlith Giant. One damage for each creature card. In oh god, we're dead. No, we're not. Well, yeah, we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. Jeez. Okay. Uh, well, we have to block something. So we'll block here. So we don't die. Yeah, I... I even if I didn't know what was on top, I don't know that anything could have gotten me out of there. Good game. You got me. You got me. If I'm racing to 15, I kind of want to concede a little bit more quickly. And the reason being, of course, I want to try to get there soon. So if it looks like I'm just absolutely out, I am going to break my you win 0% of the games where you concede guideline. Ooh. Mm. Oi. Doom Sage! Doom! Shoutouts to Doom. To this day, I think my parents still don't know that I played Doom back in the day. Excellent game. Ooh! Already mis making misplays. I just gave up Merfolk Trickster on turn two. Alright, focus, Jay. Focus! Okay, well, we'll still get a... <laughs> why be... <laughs> sure. Why be good when you can be lucky, I guess. Alright, let's see what we get. Sure. Alright, 
So Legion's Landing. I haven't seen you in a hot minute. Three more creatures. Cool. Cool. Alright, so they already know about that. Might as well attack. Who's blocking? Okay. Something's going to happen. Land. Oh, no! Okay. Yeah, this is obviously a creature deck, so... Okay. Aha! There you are. You that I hate so. You that I abhor with a burning passion. I hate this card like it's going out of style. But we're okay. It looks like we should be okay. It looks like we should be okay. Well. I mean, I guess we'll do it again. Put him to one. All right, come on. 20 to 1. I didn't give the hello earlier, I think. Whenever you... Ah, 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 ah. I got to see a silly, janky card. Alright, I was hoping it'd be Vampire Tribal, but it had a Johnny's Pride... Well, I mean, a Johnny's okay. Johnny's good. Gets plus 1, plus 0 oh until end of turn. Alright, now this is why I stop playing a lot sooner most of the time. Only 25 coins, but, you know, we'll, we'll play it out, I guess. We'll play it out. Uh, we can get there. Four more wins. Four more wins. Four more wins. We can do it. At least, I think. Maybe. Lestia, I have played you before. What were you... Oh, well, this is historic, so it's a different form. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we're keeping. Right, give him the hello. Hello? There we go. Play a speaker. Alright. And then we'll go branch walker in main phase one, just so we can buff it a little bit. We don't have an island. We don't have an island. We don't have... Okay. Cool. Or, I could play... Mistbinder. I think Branch Walker is probably better for what we're trying to do, though. Okay. Neat. Yep, and I even got the extra land. Nailed it. I was going to anyway, but we'll see what we'll see what it got me through. What is this art? What is this art, folks? I. Hmm. Okay. Well, um, so I have to play the Breeding Pool to play the Water Trap Weaver. Which I'm gonna do. Alright. It's a little unfortunate. It's a lot unfortunate. Would I be willing to trade the Branch Walker here? Absolutely. Is this a... I keep think I know it's not the... It's not a Throne of Eldrain card. Oh, jeez. Yes, we're going to find a land. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Field. No Mutavolts in this in this version of the deck though, sadly. Alright. So let's see. Can go Adept. Let me make sure I don't forget to do that. Adept to draw a card. Yeah. Reveal you, since I'm gonna play you anyway. Ooh, hi. Actually, 
Gain a... Okay. Mm, yeah, we still want to... Yeah, we're going to do this. So we'll attack. Because if we do it on their upkeep, we're going to keep them from being able to cast whatever Sanctum or whatever they feel like. I, I don't know what they're on. Maybe. Maybe that's it. Alright. End turn. And now. Field. Alright. Boo. Coop. Get yet another island. Alright. Uh, pass, let it fade away. And then play the obvious trickster. Yep, let it resolve, tap it down. Cool. And now these are just regular old lands. They're not multicolored shenanigans anymore. Wait, it is? Hold on. It loses all abilities until end of turn. Oh, are we still on their... No, we're on first main. Is that, that... That can't be how that's supposed to work, right? It loses all abilities until end of turn. Lands you control are... Ep oh, okay. That's not right. Okay. Hmm. This is fine. Let's try this again. Do it again. I dare you. Okay. Cool. Resolve. Yay. See, look. It's, it's grayed out. They shouldn't be able to do anything. And yet, it still has all of those extra types. Each one of them. That's not cool. That's really not cool. Alright. Good game. Give them the good game. And then we hi them to death. Now, it could be the case that what we were looking at there was just cosmetic, and that it actually doesn't let them cast them uh, for whatever color they feel like. It could be the case. Also, I'm going to be a tiny bit OCD. I don't like my coin total not ending in a round number, so Another reason to keep playing now that we've gotten here. I have to get at least two more wins just so that it ends in a zero. Ay ay ay. Okay. All right. Gorilla Norio. Cool. Okay. So, we start off with you. Player one drop. Cool. We're gonna have a bit of an issue on turn three if we don't happen to find something to turn on Hinterland Harbor. We are gonna have an issue on turn three, as it turns out. Uh, but maybe not, because we do have Biomancy. Jeez. Nope, nope. That, that doesn't make blue mana for its ability. Ooh, okay. Cool. Just hit for two, as you do. Alright, okay, okay. Well, I guess I'm glad I'm going on land destruction for this game. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, reveal a merfolk. Reveal... Tempest Caller. I might end up discarding anyway. Okay. Well, that, that's not fun. You hate to see it happen. Alright, well, we'll see. We'll see what's happening. So now we're going to play Regery, because it'll let us not only lord our team, but it'll tap other things down in the future, as needed. Okay, fair enough. Yes, we will search. 
we'll get out an island. Right, well, okay. Swing on through. All right. Even if they play a creature, they know that they're dead. No matter how many creatures they play, actually. Uh, remember, remember, opponent. It happens. It's okay. It happens. Uh, this does gain life as one. It's a uh, proliferate, create a two-two with all colors, gain four life, and then I think it has some like regrowth, but only for permanents. I think. And then you get to choose amongst those four times. You can choose the same thing more than once. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's okay, I guess. It... Mm, it's fine. Alright. We only need... We have 13. We only need two more. Those must. We, we can get there. Briarthorn. What's up with this Ugin avatar? I see it all the time now. Yes, I know it's new. That shouldn't be that surprising, but I don't know. It, it seems more ubiquitous than it. More than it's disproportionately represented. All right, Soul Ward. Aha. Okay. Cool. Envy for Pride Mate. Hi, Pride Mate. Called it. Well, this deck doesn't have any removal. We can tap it down, but we don't have any actual removal. So, please be a land. Please find a land. Yeah, this is getting out of hand already. Wee! Wee! Yeah, admittedly, I guess that was kind of premature, but we're not winning that. Unfortunately, we're not winning that. Okay, okay. I should play it out. It goes to the graveyard. I hope to find another land. If I do, I play. I can play Water Trap Weaver to hold it down, but I probably don't just yet. I play the other Branch Walker, see if I can get yet another land. Uh, and I save Water Trap Weaver for when it's bigger. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Try it out. All right. It does give up the possibility of the trickster, but that's okay. Merfolk. All right. Let's see if we can find something. Actually, kind of want to land now. We'd be okay with that. Uh, graveyard. And hiya. All right. Come on. Come on. Nope. That's fine, though. We can live with that. Uh, Biomancer. It's the one about which we care the least. Or they care the least, I would think. Jeez, where are the lands? And if we happen to have an island that came off the top, we could cast it, so... It makes sense. Growth Spiral, okay. Hmm... I guess we're just going in on this game plan. All aboard. Yeah, winning on two lands. With no Aether Vial, let's go. Oh man, if they put Aether Vial in this format. Okay, now what's gonna save you? Nope, okay, they're good game. Yeah, yeah, we got there. We got there. It's a touch screen, so I can just rapid tap it. So as soon as it's as click to continue. Okay, one more. One more. No no quick concedes. We're gonna try to make it happen. Try to make it a thing. <laughs> Alright. So when I say when I was at that tournament and watching Top 8 that I stayed in the same place the whole time, I mean for three hours I did not my feet did not move from that spot. I got I came there early so I could get the best seat in the house. And which is to say I was bisected by a pole, but I could see the tables pretty well. And uh you know. <laughs> I didn't move. Uh I did get to see Let's see, I saw Reed Duke, 
saw Huey Jensen, because Owen Turtonwall was there, so they were all chill at the time. Um, Forrest. Let's see, I saw... who else did I see? I played Branch Walker first. Try to get an extra card in our hands for the discard deck. Ooh, no Weaver's fine. Weaver's okay. Um, let's see. I know I saw someone else. I, I mentioned Craig and Sam. Hmm, okay. I don't know. Alright. Let's see. I mean, we're going to end up playing that anyway. I guess we'll just try to generate the card again. So I should have... Oh, okay. Actually, we're going to send you to the graveyard. Banish you to the Shadow Realm. No, I guess the Shadow Realm is Exile. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is this Rack? Okay. Uh, that's fun. Well, now I don't really... I wouldn't like to play out my hand. Man, Evangeline has really rubbed off onto me. I would not like to. Alright. So we found a land. Cool. We'll play a Mistbinder, so they'll have to double block if they would like to get rid of it now. Which they might. Nope. Nope. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, discard my land. I'd like to find Kumina here. That would be kind of cool, actually. I could outrace... Well, not outrace, but I could keep up with the draws. With the discards, I mean. Yeah, this thing just is so much card advantage. There's a reason it cost four. It, it better cost a good bit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hmm, okay. I'm gonna do this now, actually. Ooh, they could double block Miss Binder. Which they might do here. Ooh, yeah, I messed up. I messed up. What? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do it that way. Doesn't matter, but yeah. Alright, uh, tap down, or get rid of speaker. They know I have water trap, weaver, weaver taps down sovereign, and then I win. Unless they have something else going on, which of course they might. Of course. Hmm. Okay. Aeonix. Oh, oh, another one? Okay. Alright. Well, now we don't have to worry about the discard anymore, at least. Yeah. Um, do I just hope, I can't just hope that I get a top deck, can I? Because this is presumably seven going through, and then on the next turn it'll be, yeah. Alright, we'll try it. I can't just wait on Tempest Caller though. Alright. And it stays tapped down, thank goodness. So, things that get me out of here. Tempest Caller, another Trickster. Ha! Called Shot. Called Shot. I, mean, I have to play it anyway. I was going to, but I have to play it anyway. Alright, what's going on? What are you cooking up? 
Unsummon. Okay. Well, that's fair. They're actually still dead, though. Unless they have something else going on. They're still dead. Which they should. Let's find out. Stay tuned on Dragon Ball Z. Okay. Okay. That's fair. Ooh. 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 That's dirty, actually. That's dirty. Yeah. Yeah. Unsummon plus discard shenanigans. It's a weird synergy. It doesn't seem powerful enough on its own, but I guess it works. <laughs> I mean, sure. Good game. Did we got there? Oh, we got there. Okay. We made it. 15 games. I wonder what my record is for how long it took to get to 15. I mean, we didn't even go into two hours. That's okay, right? Sorcerer's Broom. Let me pay three. I would very much like a system where you get a rare or mythic as your last one if you make it all the way to 15 to further incentivize you to keep playing. Because I'll admit, there are days when I'll just, I'll only play four. Because 250, 100, 100, 100, Random cards, probably not worth that much. Fewer coins, random co yeah, and so on. So, I would be really interested to see if they would do something like that. That seems like it'd be a cool, cool little idea. Oh yeah, I just gave away the time there because you can see how much time I have left before it resets. Yeah, it's my birthday, but it's just barely my birthday over here. Alright. Almost there. Almost there gonna spend our coins on... gonna. I'm from the south. We're going to spend our coins on... not that. On... that. That's what we're saving up for. And all these packs that Evangeline's going to help me open? That'll be... that'll be fun when we get there. Alright. Uh, take care, Magic Community, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye! <laughs>